Guys, let's start this video off with a little giveaway. I have here a box of swim baits by a company called Runkle. It's like your uncle, only it's Runkle. And my dad and I are gonna use these today for surf perch. I got a nice little box here. You can get these off Amazon. I'll put a link to them in the description. But I am going to give one of these boxes away to one of you guys. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is, of course, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Most of you already are. If you're watching this within the first 24 hours, which is how long the giveaway will last, and then you have to put a like on the video and then share it. And then to be entered into the giveaway, there's no signing up. Just leave a comment below and I'll literally just pick someone randomly from the comment section and give away one of these boxes of swim baits. I'm gonna try these out. I've never tried these before. And it looks like a pretty sweet box. You had a nice variety of colors. I'm probably gonna start off with this little uh, fellow right here. He has gold flake in the belly. This video is sponsored by Runkle. So check their baits out in the description below. Let's get down to the beach. What is going on guys? My old man and I are walking down to the beach here in Oregon coast. This is day four. And we are going down doing a little surf perch fishing and we're gonna keep our eye out for Dungeness crabs as well. Oh, there was a bite. I switched up my retrieve to a little bit more aggressive retrieve. Got one. Got one. Oh, it's a good one too. Or well, I, I'm sorry. Not good one. Oh no, it is a nice one. This is great for surf perch. Look at this, guys. That is a keeper for sure. I mean, for me, for a newbie tourist fisherman, that is a nice surf perch. For the, I, I tried to switch up the retrieve to really a really aggressive retrieve. Okay. And the first cast, I got one. Got little teeth. Oh yes, that's a good. That's a <laughs> good. That's surf. a pretty good surfer for a tourist in Oregon. <laughs> I'm very very happy with Heck that. Yeah. Cool. We're that's gonna a... eat this guy. All right, guys, that little swim bait, little Runkle swim bait, getting it done. I switched colors from what I tried originally, a little like kind of Christmas tree color there, uh, Christmas tree flakes, and that got him. Got one. Again, that same retrieve. <laughs> it's amazing. Guys, I fished for like 30 minutes, just kind of dragging it, pulling it. And then I thought, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna work it a little bit more aggressively and, and jig it up and down and catch two. Another nice, you know, pretty nice one. Look at that. That is so cool. This is so much fun for years. I was a bass fisherman, still am, but for years I was just hardcore bass fishing. We did tournaments and all that. And uh, after a while you kind of, like every time you go out, you know, you know what to do and you pretty much know you're going to catch at least some fish, if not a lot. And uh, so it's fun to go out and try new things and have some success with it because you're, you're, you're fishing, you're like, I guess, I guess this will work, I don't know. And then, and then when it works, it's, it's way more satisfying when you're trying new things. Throw it right back out there. I got one. Guys, I got one. <laughs> again. Oh, he came off. He came off. All right, let's try it again. Maybe there's like a school of them out there. Got one. Got one. Oh, that's a good fish. Nice. Third one of the day. This is fighting weird. This doesn't feel like a surf perch. Oh, dude, it's a big surf perch. Dude, it's like a, it's like a pound and a half -er. Look at that. Look at that. That is the biggest surf perch I've ever caught. Oh, oh my. That is fantastic. You wanna? I'm trying to hold grab him, okay. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna lose him. Guys. That is a nice fish. <laughs> that's the biggest one I've ever caught. That's a, <laughs> that's a pound and a half. Oh, easily. easy. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice. Guys, we're gonna, uh, we already have two to keep. We already kept the first two that I caught. And uh, this is a really big one. And we usually, oh, let the big ones go. And there he goes. Good watching. 
Nice. I thought the, that fish hit so hard, I thought like maybe it was a striper or something like that. I've seen guys catch stripers in the, in the surf. Well guys, that was fun. It is time, now it is lunch time. And we're gonna make a fire, cook up these surf fruit. Check this out. <laughs> Just coming down here, right in front of our beach, we got a couple of pallets. This one's really good for firewood here. And you know, we got some wood even in the bottom, kind of a hole here. We're gonna make this spot our own. It looks like somebody, there were a lot of people that had uh, fires on the beach last night, so. I took a bunch of the scraps and pieces that were left here in this sand from the last people and I made a little platform here so we can make our fire on this so we're not making our fire right on the wet sand. And then I took this piece here and this piece here and that way we can take this little grill here and we can just kind of, oops, there we go, and we can just kind of set it on like so and we'll be able to roast our fish in this fish basket over the fire. So I got some cool stuff from a company called Survival Frog. They sent me some fire making stuff. So they sent me some of this lightning flame fire starter and it's this really light stuff and they even have matches in the top of the lid. So that's pretty cool. We will definitely use that. It's very damp out here because it's been raining. So it's gonna be hard starting this fire and we don't have a lot of kindling because so many people make fires on this beach. They also sent me some waterproof matches. I'll save these for a rainy day, literally. Look at that. All right. Thank you, Survival Frog. So we'll pour the, ooh, that looks good. I wonder if it's like that wood is soaked in something. Look at that. All right, so me agent has joined me. He was gathering kindling for the fire and the fire is going well. It was tough because things were, um, uh, things were damp. damp. Yes, that's the word I was looking for, damp. I'm gonna score this a fish a few times so that the flavors get down in the meat. Let's flavor this puppy up. We're gonna add a little salt to it. We're gonna cook it. If you guys follow my channel closely, you know I tried, we cooked a, a smallmouth Brazilian style over an open fire in this fish basket for the first time, and it was delish. So we're gonna do that exact same thing. Salt, Mrs. Dash's Southwest Chipotle seasoning, and limes instead of lemons, which is what I normally use. Because in Brazil, when I went down there, they use lime on all their fish. I'm gonna put some on like that. Oh, that is looking beautiful. Bada bing, bada boom. Well guys, I have here some Zatarain's Cajun hot sauce and it was 99 cents at an Albertsons. I was just going by this clearance rack and I saw it and I thought, oh my gosh, Zatarain's. Zatarain's is what the crab boil, or the crawfish and crab boil that I use. So I thought, I'm gonna try this. I like spiciness, my dad doesn't. So we're just gonna put it on one side of the fish here. Just kind of coat the outside of it, kind of bake some spice on, I guess. I'm no chef. And, uh, and if I want more, I can always add more, but. You're crazy. <laughs> Without burning. Although I like a little bit of crisp. A little, just a little bit of blackness along the edges. I'm gonna add some lime. Beautiful. This is the life. Guys, look at that. It looks like, with that hot sauce on it, it almost looks like a spicy chicken wing to me. And the, the, uh, the food just got done, and two of my subscribers just walked up. They were just walking on the beach, <laughs> and uh, we found them. This is Lindsay and Rick, and so they just came. That was just kind of funny. We run into some subscribers, and they gave me some, some tips and told me about some spots. So anyway, good, good to meet you guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Looks, looks like hot sauce, or looks like a hot spicy one. I'll let you try your side first. Okay. I have to tell you though, when, when we were kids, you know, now they call folks that are, are homeless, homeless. Uh -huh. when, when, I, when I was a kid, they called them hobos. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I feel a little bit like a hobo. I feel like a hobo too, <laughs> out here on the beach. <sighs> oh wait, I was gonna add lime, a little bit more lime to it. I'll take a little of that, thank you. 
we have to give an up. honest analysis. Yes, yeah, so you're going to eat off. Uh, I peeled a little off, and it was yeah. kind of falling apart. Yeah, it's kind of falling apart. Just decided to leave it in the. I like the lime. I like the lime. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not bad that's, at all. That vastly improves it. That does, guys. We're just finding this out. We've always cooked things in frying pans. Oh man, Brazil out. is the place to go to find out <laughs> how to cook stuff. And wow. when I went to Brazil, they roast stuff over the fire. They're fish over fire. I was like, I'm gonna try that. So it makes it a meat that's normally kind of mushy, mushy. kind of crisped up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it adds a nice, and it has a blackened, like good yeah. roasted oh, yeah, yeah. flavor. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Whatever you put on it is good. I don't know what the it is. Chipotle guys, I put links to that seasoning in the description. All the seasoning. That really is. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're gonna flip this thing over, and we're gonna try the spicy side. All right, we're gonna transport this, flip them over. Heft them off in there. Mm. It's uh, not too hot. We're, it's not I too hot, mm -mm. but I, I like it. Do you? I love that flavor. I, I love spicy stuff, though. Yeah, I'm old. I don't like the spicy stuff so much. <laughs> mm, I like it. In fact, I'm gonna take a piece of fish. You're nuts. And I'm gonna add a little bit more, so I get the essence. So it's not like a, any roasted essence of Zatarain's Cajun hot sauce. Yeah. I'm getting <clears throat> memories of Tabasco mm -hmm. from that hot sauce. My money, I like the other side. Um, it was, it doesn't have the, the, I don't care for the, yeah, I'm ready for something to drink here in a second, but oh. the other side didn't have the Tabasco taste or whatever that was. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I and um, um, and it was cooked crispier, and I, I like the, you know me, I don't like the spiciness. The other side was crunchier, this, this side is a little, yeah, little the other side was it's not mushy, more. but it's, it's just, uh, not a firm white meat kind of uh, um, like like the uh, smelt smelt. Ooh. That smelt was amazing. If you guys watched day three, roasting fish over an open fire vastly, I think vastly improves Absolutely. the flavor. Well, guys, this fish was delicious, as yes, you can tell. Thank you guys for hanging out, and we'll see you in the next one.